benefit to virtualizing your business critical application is around cost reduction. There are some tangible costs that obviously can be reduced, hardware costs, operating system license costs, as well as database license costs, and associated manpower costs. But as well as that, there are some intangible uh, benefits, um, specifically around a uniform database image and the increased reliability you get by, by virtualizing that environment. The second key uh, benefit is around increased flexibility. Um, the ability to move a database around a physical cluster um, in response to changing business requirements, perhaps something as uniform as end of month processing, but perhaps holiday season peaks for an, for an e-retailer is a key benefit. So the ability to, to provide that increased flexibility in response to changing needs, which is something that's very difficult to provide in a non-virtualized environment. Increased availability is another key benefit of virtualization. Um, inherent in the architecture is, is the same capabilities that you get with a hardware clustering environment. But, the, but some of the more advanced features of virtualization, specifically the ability to move a, a database in this case from one physical node to the other in the event of a planned outage with no loss of access to the application, is a key benefit that is not possible in a hardware clustered environment. The fourth key benefit to virtualizing a mission critical an application is around increased reliability. The ability to create a standard set of database images and, and provision those on demand gives you a much more reliable database environment. And with that increased reliability comes increased availability. This is particularly important in an Oracle rack environment where the availability of the overall rack cluster is, de is highly dependent on the reliability of each of the different nodes and keeping the configuration of each of those nodes uniform is key to increasing that reliability. So in an Oracle rack environment, virtualization gives you an overall increase in reliability, which means that the availability of the rack cluster is increased. The first perceived barrier to, virtu to virtualizing a database workload is around support. And there's certainly some confusion in this area, notably in the Oracle environment. Oracle's position is that should an issue arise, it will need to be reproduced in a non-virtualized environment. The second perceived issue as you virtualize a database workload is in the licensing. For those organizations that have an enterprise-wide agreement, the licensing considerations are, of course, minimal. But for those organizations which have taken a more surgical approach, only licensing those nodes that need to run databases, there are two architectural options. The first one is to create a database-only cluster. The second one is to carve out a set of nodes within an enterprise-wide cluster for databases and then use node affinity to lock or constrain databases to only run on those nodes. We see both of these approaches being adopted by our clients. The third perceived barrier to virtualizing a database workload is performance. For those applications which are CPU intensive, for example, high performance compute applications, they will see a performance hit. But a database is a mixed workload, a mix of CPU and I.O. And the performance hit you'll gain in running in this environment will be minimal. 